When we think of movies, we all know the common name that comes to mind. My name is uh, uh, Steve Spielberg, and I just directed a movie called uh, Jaws. Director Steven Spielberg. One. Director Steven Spielberg. Steven Spielberg. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, last week I had the honor to sit down with a man who's been delighting moviegoers for the last 50 years, Steven Spielberg. The Oscar goes to this big surprise. Steven Spielberg for sitting <laughs> Steven Allen Spielberg was born in Cincinnati, Ohio in 1947 and was raised with three sisters. His father worked in the electrical, engineering, computer industry, and his mother was a concert pianist. The family spent most of their time moving around the country, where his father would go to find promising job opportunities. The first real home Spielberg had was in Arizona, where he lived from ages 9 to 16 and where his film career began. The first time I picked up a movie camera, um, was because I was wrecking my electric trains when I was about 12 years old. I was crashing the two trains into each other and making a complete mess, and sometimes the trains would break and my dad would have to take them back to the... Like any young kid, Spielberg believed that monsters lived under his bed in the crack in his closet, or he imagined creatures peeking out and whispering for him to come into the unknown of the closet. As such, Spielberg was frightened by many horror movies, and even what his parents thought were harmless Disney movies like Snow White, Fantasia, and Bambi, so they attempted to limit the youngster's exposure to such films. However, this only increased Spielberg's interest in the cinematic world. Spielberg was often the target of bullies, partly for his family, commonly the only Jewish family in the neighborhood. We didn't lose direct family, we lost, my parents lost second, third cousins uh, in Eastern Europe, but uh, this was something that was, that was openly talked about in my home. I was certainly the subject of anti-Semitic bullying, uh, not in Arizona, by the way, only in Northern California. But even in Arizona, you know, I was different. At age 12, Spielberg took consolation in making films after discovering his father's 8mm camera. Inspired by watching The Greatest Show on Earth, Spielberg began making films with the help of his mother and sisters. In fact, Spielberg won an award at 13 for a war film, Escape to Nowhere, and at 17, made a full length film called Firelight. While these films were nothing too spectacular, they proved Spielberg's interest, ability, and determination in movie making. Spielberg had a strong distaste for academics growing up, and his grades were subpar. Spielberg had dyslexia, which distracted him from his studies. In fact, it took him two years to learn how to read. Spielberg would later recall his classmates bullying him throughout school for his disability. I spent a lot of my time watching television or listening to soundtrack albums, or just sitting around looking at the clouds. My dad was always on me for that. He did not like me getting C's, but school was not a place I was really drawn to. Steve was a kid that was sort of watchful and tentative and in some ways hesitant. You know, he, he wasn't like the normal kids in the neighborhood. He wasn't the muscle guy. You know, he, he got bullied a lot. After high school, Spielberg was declined from multiple film universities due to his grades. Instead, Spielberg continued his academic career by receiving a bachelor's degree at California State College. During college, Spielberg frequently bluffed past security guards at Universal Studios, where he would ask executives to view his films. In this time, Spielberg would direct some short films that would foreshadow his future career in movies. In 1964, he directed Firelight, a movie about aliens invading a small town, and in 1967, directed Slipstream, a short, uncompleted film about bicycle racers. Finally, after working hard and constantly showing these films to Universal, he was finally recognized after a short film Amblin in 1969, and offered a seven-year contract as a TV director. I tried very hard to get into USC film school and I just didn't have the grades get in. And I even had a personal interview at USC and they turned me down even in person. So Universal became my film school. Steven was laser focused. He 
he never lost sight of the fact that the audience early on for him wasn't the audience in the theater. The audience were the studio executives. Succeeding his TV career and after Ace Eli and Roger the Skies failed, he embarked on a spectacular debut feature film in 1974 titled The Sugarland Express. Spielberg's career took off from here, and only a year later, in 1975, he produced Jaws. It will attack and devour anything. It is as if God created the devil and gave him Jaws. <laughs> This is Universal's extraordinary motion picture version of Peter Benchley's best-selling novel, Jaws. An action-packed, frightening movie about a shark hungry for blood. The fourth box office hit in the 1970s and surpassed estimated projections, Jaws instantly became one of the most talked about movies ever and a symbolic representation of American nature-based horror movies. Steven Spielberg is among the most gifted and successful filmmakers ever. With his production company Amblin, directing over 30 feature films such as Jaws, E.T., Indiana Jones, Saving Private Ryan, Jurassic Park, and Schindler's List, Spielberg's contributions to film will never be forgotten. Grossing over $10 billion worldwide, Spielberg has been named the highest grossing director ever. He has received 22 Academy Award nominations and a Presidential Medal of Freedom. Even now, he's helped produce many popular movies such as Jurassic World Dominion, Ready Player One, The Fablemans, and West Side Story. Overall, Steven Spielberg established a legacy that has significantly impacted the world of cinema we all know today. And, according to Gale Biography, his long-standing popularity as a producer, director, and writer for film and television stems from his appeal to a child sensibility that attracts viewers and both youngsters and adults. Spielberg never called it quits despite the adversities which plagued his personal life and some of his early movies. Everything he does is a product of his home life in suburban USA, and he can trace all of his movie ideas back to his childhood. Today, we have his legacy to thank for inspiring generations to come and entertaining millions of people with his dramatic storytelling, character development, and suspense. I'm Owen Smith, and this was...